everybody to another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. The sun is shining again. We've had so many great Fridays lately. So yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. And what is it like toward the end of February? So we're getting through winter, which is lovely. Um, yeah, I have, oh my gosh. So this is still wintry, right? Yeah. So, um, Kathy Hilliard, who is um, one of our big supporters. Hello, Sharon, how are you? Anyway, Kathy has suggested, Amy, will you make some um, St. Patrick's Day cards? And so I thought, I made myself a little note, and this week I was like, you know what? That's what we're doing. We are gonna, hey, Jamie, we are gonna make St. Patrick's Day cards today. So hello, Philomena, yay, everybody's popping on. Oh my gosh, thank you for sharing the video too, Miss Philomena. Yes, good morning, Sharon. So yeah, we've got some fun. So they're featuring a lot of different products from um, our current catalogs, the annual catalog and the um, celebration. So maybe not celebration, but um, the mini catalog. Hello, Teresa. Sorry, I'm like thinking. Yeah, so anyway, they're over on my table and I'm super excited to share them with you guys because St. Patrick's Day is just kind of one of those really like fun, festive holidays, you know, whether you celebrate it or not, like the whole like leprechaun and luck of the Irish and that whole, it's just kind of fun, right? So yeah, so anyway, we're gonna have some fun playing with lots of different products. Hello, Debbie. We've got so much good stuff to share with you guys today. Let's see, what do I wanna start off with? Well, quick reminder, right? Hello, oh, Jeff, hi. <laughs> How are you watching from Maine? Awesome, hopefully you guys have good, maybe sunny weather out there too, I don't know. Um, so yeah, anyway, we've got the, um, the Calming Camellia stamp set, right? I've been advertising basically all of Celebration, all of January, all of February. Every time you spend $50 through me, you get your name in the drawing to win this awesome, beautiful Calming Camellia stamp set. So this is the stamp set that you can also guarantee that you can get um, from Stampin' Up if you put at least a $300 order in. Um, now that's a lot, right? So maybe you gather friends together and put um, orders in together that total $300 in product and you can get the stamp set for sure. But I thought, why not? I'm getting a number of these as I put orders in. If I get to a $300 order, then I get one of these stamp sets. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you know the number of them that I've gotten. So I'm like, I'm gonna give them all away. So if you order through me, either online, at a class, or an event, any way, possible basically if you order and spend $50 every time you do that your name goes in the calming camellia stamp set drawing we are going to do this drawing on the first Facebook live that we do in March so be watching for that that's going to be super fun just this beautiful stamp set and I'll share with you <clears throat> This is a card that I made and sent out to all of um, my top five demonstrators. So in sales each month, I recognize the top five sellers for our Inkspired Stampers team, and I send them a beautiful card each month. And this one I decided this month I wanted to feature the Calming Camellia stamp set. So, hey, Kathy, how are you? You have the right account. Yes, you do. Awesome. <laughs> okay, very good. I love it. Uh, yeah, so Calming Camellia stamp set, and then we've got that lovely you is the sentiment that I put on this one. And I loved like this blushing bride and um, night of navy. I think like that pink, pink and um, navy is kind of like a fun color combination. And I used some of that denim ribbon there too. So yeah, I don't think I did anything on the inside of this one. I did not. I kept it simple. Um, but I did put a couple of our iridescent rhinestones, if you guys can see those kind of glimmering right there we go yes 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 so yeah awesome so like i said spend fifty dollars anytime if you spend fifty dollars you get one entry if you spend a hundred dollars you get two hundred and fifty you get three and every time you do that every time you spend fifty dollars your name goes in the drawing to win that awesome calming camellia stamp set so i'm excited to give those away like i said on our first facebook live that we do in march and i'll be um announcing that also so um all right let's see what else do we have going on um oh well i guess i should mention right that celebration what today's the 18th so we have 10 more days of celebration so if you have not gotten everything that you have wanted out of the celebration brochure now is the time to put your order in right we've got so many cute nancy hello good morning watching with your leg up good i hope that you're feeling okay we miss seeing your face live at our uh, team meeting so yeah hopefully you're on the mend and doing well and we look forward to seeing you hopefully in march right 
So, um, okay, yeah, so celebration, um, 10 more days if you haven't gotten. So, and I'll do a quick reminder, um, just in case you forget, right? We have the Island Vibes stamp set free with a $50 order. Um, who doesn't want to think about like Island Vibes right now in deep, dark winter, right? We have the... Um, Daffodil Afternoon. All of a sudden I was like, what's the name of that? That designer series paper. And I'll share with you again. Hello, Susie. One more time. This is the Daffodil Delight and Daffodil Afternoon Sampler. Beautiful, um, kind of springy, right? Um, sampler that we made with um, the stamp set and then the designer series paper from Celebration. Also, that's free with the $50 order. Then you've got your Rainbows and Sunshine Designer Series paper, free with a $50 order. You have your Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper, free with a $50 order. And then also the Awesome Otter stamp set, free with a $50 order. So if you're seeing any of these that you don't have and you want, get your order in. You have 10 days left. How about the Friendly Hello stamp set and Designer Series paper, free with a $100 order. Then we have the Special Moments stamp set. Uh, this is the one, oh, I gave it away last week. I'm like, am I giving it away this week? I gave this one away last week, free with a $100 order. Lots of great sentiments in that stamp set. And then there's that Calming Camellia stamp set. Like I said, free with a $300 order. Hello, Tammy. Or if you spend $50 through me, your name's gonna go in that drawing to win that stamp set. Um, the beginning of March and then the awesome starter kit deal. So don't forget about that. The join deal basically, right? You get to pick $125 in product plus two free stamp sets, any stamp sets you want. Get the most expensive stamp sets that you can, right? You only pay $99 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is waived. Then you can become, hey, Shauna, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Just like Shauna did. That was perfect timing, Shauna. Shauna got the awesome starter kit deal a couple of weeks ago. So she got the $125 in product. She got her two free stamp sets and she paid only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. And now she's a part of our Inkspired Stampers team, our group. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions on that, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up with the starter kit. You also get a 20% discount off of everything that you order once you get your um, starter kit. The other cool thing is, so you don't get celebration um, choices in your starter kit order because it's already such an awesome deal, right? But if you put a $50 order in, you get your 20% discount and you get to pick free celebration stuff too. So it's an awesome time to get the starter kit and then get your first order in before the end of February so you can get free celebration items as well. So it's kind of a no-brainer, right? The one thing I was mentioning at our team meeting too, actually, um, if you can swing it, the what I call like the sweet spot during celebration is to put a $300 order in once you get your starter kit. Because, listen to this, you get um, your 20% discount, right, off of your $300 order, so it's not really a $300 order, right? You get the Calming Camellia stamp set, the free host stamp set that you can get during celebration. You get at least $36 in free host product because they give you 12% uh, host rewards, like a 12% um, kind of add-on product bonus for your $300 order. Plus, you get to pick six free celebration items. Like, it's a total no-brainer. And then the other awesome thing is, hello, Susan, you have actually already reached that $300 quarterly minimum. So you don't even have to order anything until July if you don't want to. Not saying that that's gonna happen. I don't know that, <laughs> I've never done it personally, not been able to like, not, you know, haven't gone that long without ordering, but it's possible, right? So that's that sweet spot that I was talking about um, at our team meeting. Uh, was that this week? No, it was last week. I'm like, well, my weeks, yeah, last week. <laughs> it's been a long week. This week's been a long week too, as they all, crazy, lots going on. So yeah, yeah, so to make sure, get your free celebration choices while you still can, get the awesome starter kit deal, become a part of our Inkspired Stampers team. Let me know if you have any questions on any of that. We would love to have you join us. Um, oh, the other thing that I wanna mention is I am doing a one day retreat. I hadn't been able to do them for a while because of COVID, but we are back 
on. So our next one day retreat is right here in Alma. I'm looking at my um, flyer on Saturday, May 7th. Hey, Amy, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. So yes, one day crafting retreat, Saturday, May 7th. What is, I'm like kind of driving myself crazy because apparently I printed like an old flyer from 2020 and I printed like, I made a whole bunch of copies and I think I've been sending them out to people. <laughs> oh, it was only three days ago. <laughs> Sharon, thank you. Yeah, I was like, it feels like it feels like it was a while ago, but you're right. It was only see, that's how like, okay, like I said, it's been a long week. There's been a lot that's happened between now and like Friday and Tuesday. <laughs> that is hilarious. Thank you, Sharon, for <laughs> keeping me updated on that. Okay, yeah. So back to see all like my brain's crazy, crazy, crazy. So my one day crafting retreat. I printed this darn flyer from 2020 and didn't even look at it, made a bunch of copies. I think I've been mailing them out to people and I'm sure they're like, why is she mailing about her retreat that she had two years ago that actually got canceled because of COVID? So if I've done that, I apologize. The one day crafting retreat is Saturday, May 7th, right here in Alma. We are doing it at my new, well new, I feel like I feel like it's still new, our newer location, the Peace Lutheran Church right here in Alma. They have six foot long tables, so everybody's gonna get a six foot long table. You bring whatever you want. We can move the tables, spread out. We'll have lots of room. It's a nice cozy spot though too. I used to do them at um, St. Mary's in the gymnasium, like I'm like pointing because it's just down the street from here, um, <clears throat> which is an awesome space also, but it's the ceilings are super tall, lots of like light and windows, but it is kind of like a big, big kind of cavernous space. So this one is a little bit cozier feeling because um, it's not in a gymnasium either. There's carpet. Anyway, so, and but it's like beautiful, set back in nature. The deer are out there, probably turkeys. I don't know. Anyway, so you can watch nature a little bit too if you need to take a break from your crafting. But basically just come bring whatever you want. It's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, I make lots of treats for you. Um, I feed you all day long. We have make and takes. We do a goodie bag. I will show you things that you can make with products in your goodie bag, in your make and takes. Um, you can shop from the buy one, get one free sale. There's, It's just an awesome, awesome day. Just come and hang out and play and make whatever you want and visit. Meet, meet new people, make new friends. It's a great, great day. So I love to have anyone that's interested come hang out with us Saturday, May 7th. Okay? All right, um, what else do we have going on? Oh, just a quick reminder. <laughs> Sharon, yes, Our, we can always add a couple more tables. Yeah, and I have tables too. So yeah, we've got, there's lots of room, lots of like, yeah, there's lots of room to spread out too. So yes, hopefully, hopefully lots of you can attend. It would be very fun to have a, a big, uh, joyous, festive crafting group all be able to get together again, finally, right? Okay, so another quick reminder too, I am doing my celebration celebration, which is, oh, Susie, how much is it? It is, thank you, I'm glad you asked that. Um, it is $64 for the entire day, and like I said, that includes the food all day long, your make and takes, your goodie bag. It's just an awesome, awesome day. So yeah, I'd love to have you, love to have you come, Miss Susie. Um, oh, okay, yes, yeah, so, all right, let me just flip my page here to my, celebration celebration right nikki hello how are you i'm glad you can join us you're welcome susie um so this celebration celebration is basically like a thank you event for your support of my stampin up business during celebration so here this is how you can you basically earn your spot to come hang out and have a fun little party with me and whoever else has earned their spot at the celebration celebration so if you host a private celebration party or class, we technically still have time to do that. So if you're interested in getting friends and family together, we've still got a few more days. We could get something scheduled super quick. You'd have to work hard to get make sure you get people to come, but that's, that's not always uh, so difficult to do, right? Just come and hang out and play with cute stuff. That's pretty easy, right? So that's the number one way, host a private party or class. We can do that at um, the Peace Lutheran Church also. Um, purchase the starter kit is the second way that you can earn your spot in the celebration celebration. Again, $125 in product, two free stamp sets, only $99 plus sales tax, 
or if the third way is if you spend $150 through me during celebration. I posted um, the people that have already earned their spot. I tried to email anybody, hello, Lori, that was close. Like if you're close to $150 but not quite there, we'll wanna make sure that you know that you're close. So if you put an additional order in, you can earn your spot at Celebration Celebration as well. So hello, Laura, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. So, and the other thing too, is even if you're long distance, because obviously not everyone is close to me here in Alma or even in Michigan, right? I will put your make and takes together for you and your tree and the prizes that I get up, give everybody. And I will mail all of that out to you. So it's, you'll get an awesome thank you package in the mail from me um, for your support again of my Stampin' Up! business for the celebration celebration. All right. Um, okay, let's see what else I think are we I think we're ready to do our first drawing. Okay, so <clears throat> we are going to give away. Oh my goodness. I'm like talking a mile a minute as usual. <laughs> You're welcome, Shauna. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, you, yes, that's right. So I see why you're saying thank you. Yes, you've already earned your spot to the celebration celebration. Yes, you have, yeah. So I will get your thank you package mailed out to you once we have the event. I'm doing that in March. I haven't decided on the exact date. I'm working on that and I will post that shortly though. Okay, so today we are gonna give away, these are the fun pebbles enamel shapes. We announced this last week. So if you shared the Facebook Live video or if you have not already signed up for my email list, if you did that, your name is in the drawing to win the pebbles enamel shapes. They're just a cute little, um, I don't, it's almost like, you know, like they're little pebbles, like you might find like walking down the beach or something. Okay, so your name is in the drawing right here. If you shared the video or signed up for my email list. And you guys know this, if you're not already on my email list, that's the best way to stay updated on everything we have going on um, with uh, like stamping related events that I'm doing and also uh, stamping up and their promotions. I love to email, that's the best way to kind of reach everybody and post right here on our Facebook group. So check in, check in regularly on our Facebook group too. Um, love to have you share too. If you are making anything lately, I, we would love to see what you have made. Just post it right here to our Facebook group. Everybody loves to see what each other is up to. It's a fun, inspiring way too, right? Um, to kind of see what everybody else is doing. Okay, so here we go. I'm like trying to make sure they kind of get stuck together and I like to got to make sure they're all jumbled around so everyone has a fair chance. Okay, so one name in my hand. It is Miss Pam Simmons. All right, congratulations, Miss Pam. You are the winner of the pebbles and the enamel shapes. I'm going to make sure those are all dumped out. So Pam, I will get those pebbles and enamel shapes mailed out to you. Congratulations, Miss Pam, and thank you for sharing the video too. Okay, hold on. I need a quick sip of water. I'm like <clears throat> talking too much. And this, the fact that my door is not closed, I always close that door, has been absolutely driving me crazy. So I'm going to do that too. There. Take my sip of water and close the door. <laughs> Stormy the dog is like, what's going on? Where is she going? <laughs> hey, Deb. Yes, I did see you, see you shared the video. Thank you so much. And Susan, thank you for sharing this video as well. Okay. Um... What are we gonna do? Oh, let's do our, so our next giveaway, let me make sure, cause I've got too many things on my table here. Yes, next Facebook Live, we are gonna give away the beautiful, my favorite, the polished dots. Yes, that's what they're called. I was like, I feel like they should, most of the names are a lot longer, but these are the polished dots. So you can't see them very well cause of the glare, but they're kind of like a white, clear, beautiful little faceted gem. And then I'm gonna say petal pink. I think that's what color those are. So yes. <clears throat> beautiful polished dots right there. That's what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live for sharing the video and signing up for my email list. Okay, um, moving this stuff out of the way. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, so thank you, Sharon, for reminding me our meeting was just this week on Tuesday. It, it's so crazy how it feels like it was longer ago than that because the next thing I wanna do is share with you guys the make and takes that we made and also because we're gonna be using some, we're gonna use the designer series paper that we used on our make and takes on one of our projects um, that I'm gonna share with you guys in just a little bit. Hello, Tracy, thanks for joining us. Okay, so these are the make and takes. They actually featured, I'm gonna show you guys the flyer here. 
because it's beautiful. The all together sweet. Thank you for sharing too, Tracy. This is an, a sweet that is not in the catalog yet. So it's called the all together sweet. And I have to remind myself because we got a couple, we have a couple of different things going on. These are, yeah, okay, that's right. I was just trying to make sure so I didn't give bad information. So there's the full collection that you can order right now, which is the, what is it called? The Here Together stamp set and the Here For You dies. And then they've got a bunch of new blends. They're all um, kind of like skin tone colors. So some really light, pale like me, and some <laughs> much darker, more bronzed, beautiful um, tan skin. Uh, brown skin. Um, and then what else? So I think it's just those. Oh, and then the paper too. Yes, the paper. The, um, do I, oh, I didn't bring that over. Well, it's on here. It is called the All Together Designer Series Paper. So what's interesting, you guys can see a little bit better, and I'll show you the stamp set and the dies here too. Um, but the stamp set and the Designer Series Paper and the blends are all going to be available in our next annual catalog and they're available right now. The dies, these are the only things that are not going to carry over. So this is kind of an exclusive item available right now that you can only get from now until May 2nd. And then those go away, but everything else carries over into the annual catalog. So let me show you, so I'll kind of give you a little sneak peek of the stamp set. Of course, this is backwards, but this is the Here Together stamp set. So they've got some really nice imagery that kind of, you know, that um, bringing people together. Um, we've got I Promise is one of the sentiments. Every act of kindness changes the world. I love that sentiment. How about we'll get through this together. You matter to me, and love changes everything. Of course it does, right? Um, and then this is kind of, a, I didn't use this one. It almost looks like like ray, rays of sunlight or something, right? But I love the, all the kids do that, right? That little heart um, with your hands, right? And then that's kind of cool with your pinkies, um, tying your pinkies together. So awesome stamp set. Again, this is going to carry over, but the dies are not, which is very interesting, I think. So again, the Here For You dies. So this is the set of dies. So you can see that the hands in both cases are die cut with the dies. And then they've got two different sentiments. One says here for you, and one says you matter. And you're not gonna be able to read those. Actually, maybe you will, right? That one's upside down, right? There, yeah, actually you can. So there's you matter, and there's here for you. Oh, isn't that cool? The one time that this like backwards thing actually helps us is with these dies. Yeah, so awesome set of dies. Again, you can get, oh, let me show you the paper too. And I'll show you guys this again because we're gonna, I'm gonna use some of this paper um, when we do our, not make and takes, but when we do our um, stamping just a little bit because it's a little bit hard to see. But that is, it's all black and white with some fun hands, um, designer series paper. And then the blends, which I didn't bring those over, but beautiful collection of lots of different skin tone blends, right? Uh, okay, so you guys wanna see the make and takes? These are what we made this week at our team meeting. So we've got this one that says here for you that of course is gonna be backwards. Again, using some of the designer series paper and loving still that black and white gingham ribbon. We've got this one right here. Oops, a little dimensional backing. Those are always stuck everywhere, right? Love changes everything with some more of the designer series paper. My favorite sentiment, right? Every act of kindness changes the world. And then one of our doilies too. Can't remember what collection that's from, but those are in the mini catalog. And then this last one that says, we'll get through this together. And then um, some more designer series paper. We have a couple of different patterns there. So those were our make and takes from our meeting. Again, I wanted to feature that all together collection or suite. So you can get the stamp set, the designer series paper, the um, dies and the blends in the all together collection. It is item code 160941 and it's $105. And that's gonna give you the bundle price too for the stamp set and the dies. So if you love all of those products, that's probably the best way is just get them all in that collection available until May 2nd, okay? But again, the dies are only available until May 2nd and maybe like one of those while supplies lasts also, but not carrying over to the annual catalog. So I'm curious to see, because they're gonna put this stamp set in the annual catalog, so what will they do with it? Although, honestly, it's not gonna be that difficult to um, 
cut those out if you don't get the dies. But I love those sentiments, the you matter to me and, um, or no, you matter, and then here for you. Those are what are gonna go away. So like this, this one, the here for you, you won't be able to get that. So if you would like that, you might wanna get that now while you can, okay? Um, so yeah, those were our make and takes from our meeting on Tuesday. Then we had um, swaps actually, and I forgot to find out who made each of these. So Sharon, if you're watching, if you know, we've got this one with the, for someone who is wonderful in each and every way, awesome sentiment, and then some of our rainbow paper and our Simply Marvelous paper. So I love kind of a nice collage of different prints on that um, on that card. And then this one, actually, let me, I'll, I'll leave it in there. It might be a little bit popping off. And my, one of my favorite, I still love that, that, that stamp set. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I love that, how you can kind of layer like the hello and friend. And then, oh, so Sharon, this one was yours. Okay. So this is Sharon. So I'm thinking this was Jenny's then. I think, I think. Sharon, you have to correct me if I'm wrong. Yep, that one's Jenny's. Okay, perfect. Yes, I. but I love that. Something about that. I, I wanted to use that even on um, our St. Patrick's Day cards, and I didn't end up, wasn't able to. And then Sunday um, made using, hmm, she found them for us too. I have to look it up because I want you guys to know because it's the same. Let me find it real quick before I show you this swap. Um, actually probably in the back. I love our little index. You guys know about this, right? Like the index in the back of these mini catalog and annual catalog, the heart and home memories and more cards and envelopes on page 59. Oh, look at that. I flipped right to it. Yeah. Okay. I've got my finger in a spot because I have this open for another reason. So I'm trying not to lose my spot for later. Yeah. So here, these are the memories of home is that what i just said heart <laughs> heart and home memories and more card pack right there so those right there those are the doilies i was talking about too that we used that cinnamon cider doily on one of our make and takes also um, but this is a beautiful collection you guys can kind of see if i flip it around this way right um, beautiful collection of products okay did not lose my place so sunday's card featured those um, cards and envelopes. And I loved this. So um, the card itself, this card base, and then the inside is just blank, right? Um, but she layered on here and then she used our Friendly Hello stamp set. And then I think my favorite is the envelopes, the coordinating envelopes, right? So this is the front of the envelope and then that's the back of the envelope. And then aren't those so cute how they coordinate with the card also? So that was Sunday's swap that she made for us. So that's another fun thing to know about. If you become an Inkspired Stamper, you can swap with us every single month. Um, anybody that comes to the meeting, and actually if you're long distance, people mail them into me and I swap them out for you at the meeting and then mail them back to you. So you can uh, participate in the swap even long distance as well. So keep that in mind. That's another great benefit of becoming an Inkspired Stamper is you can swap with us and get beautiful swaps every single month. The other benefit too is if you have more than $600 in sales as one of my team members, you are in what is called the $600 club for the month. And then I give you a fun um, little embellishment or treat, something to say congratulations for having over $600 in sales. So this month I actually sent out the pebbles enamel shapes to everyone that made it into our $600 club. Now, I will tell you the reason why I love to recognize people that have at least $600 in sales in a month is because Stampin' Up! also recognizes you. They give you an additional commission back on your orders. They pop that into your checking your savings account. Basically, it's like a little direct deposit bonus for you if you have sales of over $600 in a month. So I love to highlight that so that people know that, right? So especially if they're at like $550 in sales, bump it up. Try to get that last $50 in sales because then you earn that additional commission and then you get a fun little surprise in the mail from me as well. So just wanted to make sure everybody knew about that too. Okay, um, lots of chatter today as usual, right? Um, I think we are ready to do our next drawing. Make sure I have my names in here. Okay, so 
If you haven't watched Facebook Live in a while, if you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure everybody knows, right, that if you order through me using the host code that I'll give you in just a moment, it's also always on my blog at Gathering Inc with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. If you order through me, spend at least $30, use the host code. You always get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live. So for example, last Facebook Live, I demonstrated these two, love these cards, just fun, beautiful, bright cards. And this one had what I'm kind of calling a fun fold because it doesn't open quite the way we normally do, right? So these two cards you get as a thank you for me for your at least a $30 order, right? You also get your name in the drawing. This week is for the Catching Butterflies stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50 or more, you get to pick from the free embellishment for February, which are, these are called the Resin Star Embellishments or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. Pick either one of those. Plus, you get a free celebration choice because your order's over $50. Plus, your name goes in the drawing to win one of my calming camellia stamp sets. So this is like the most bestest time ever. That's not even really like proper English, but I'm saying it because I want to make sure everybody hears me right. It's the most bestest time ever to put your order in. You get all of that stuff for free. Now you're going to get this two super cute St. Patrick's Day cards that I'm going to demonstrate. And her name goes in the drawing for the Common Camellia stamp set. And you get a free celebration choice if you bump your order up to $50. And you get to pick from the free embellishment or the demo design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So, so many good things that you could get for placing an order through me, which I truly, truly appreciate. It's what helps me keep going, being able to do these Facebook Live videos and sharing all of this fun with you guys. Basically, it's my that's how I get paid. Is, is through your orders. That's how I get paid to do this every week. So thank you guys. I truly appreciate that. Okay, so now we are going to draw for the Catching Butterfly stamp set. Okay, so we've got names in the drawing here. Um, anybody that has ordered and used the host code, your name is in here. And let's see, we have, I'm shaking them around. They always get all stuck together and I have to like pull them apart. Okay, the lucky winner is Miss Teresa Hinchman. All right, congratulations, Teresa. I will get that Catching Butterflies stamp set sent out to you along with the cards as well. And I think she picked the, now I'm trying to remember, Teresa, I think she picked the free embellishment. So I'll get that embellishment sent out to you as well. Mary, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. So on our next Facebook Live, if you order through me, we will be giving away this Awesome. This is the Honey Bee Home stamp set. Oh, you're still watching. You're welcome so much, Miss Teresa. <laughs> that's awesome. It's so fun when you get like the immediate reaction. People aren't always able to watch live. So that's super fun that you're on here today and able to hear your name called. So congratulations, Teresa. So if you want to have that great feeling on our next Facebook Live, put your order in and your name will go in the drawing to win the Honey Bee Home stamp set. So we've got some cute little, these are soup, these are cute actually like the little honeybees, right? We've got some other floral imagery. And then the sentiments say, such happy news, best of luck. So glad we're family, miss you. Oh, this is great. Stay wonderful. And you're the nicest. Those are awesome sentiments and some different ones that we don't always have, right? So your name will go in this drawing to win the Honey Bee Home stamp set with at least a $30 order. But seriously, why would you not bump your order up to $50 right now and get all the other awesome benefits that a $50 order affords you right now as well? Okay, whoo, crafter math, seriously. I think we are good. I think I need to clean off my space here just a little bit so I don't scare anybody. <laughs> okay, and then we are going to flip the camera I just have to make sure. Yep, I think we're good. Okay, so turn your heads away for a moment, right? We're gonna fly through the air, flip the camera around, and I will show you guys what else we, we're gonna do our stamping, okay? All right, let's make sure I don't push any wrong buttons while I get this situated. Ooh, that sun is super bright too. Okay, I was kind of, I was like, um. If the sun could go behind the cloud from 11.30 to 12.30 today, that would be 
<laughs> really lovely so we don't have this crazy glare, which obviously that's not happening right now. And it's a beautiful blue sky, so I think it's not going to happen, which I only wanted that one hour. Then I wanted the sun to be back out, but you know, just maybe shade it a little bit. <laughs> okay, so here's our host code, the XUE73H32. If you use this host code and order through me, you get all those awesome benefits um of your order okay so let's see i have oh okay i knew i had a couple more things to show you guys so my club member treat for this month is this super cute little box very similar to the box that i made for bingo because i loved the one i made for bingo so much that one was a little bit longer wider box um and it was actually something that i made um when did i do it was like in the october demo design dream team pdf tutorial completely different colors and um, kind of look to the box, but the box layout itself, um, if you wanted to know how I made that box. that I shared that on Facebook Live too. Um, or I'm sorry, I shared that on our Facebook group earlier this week. Um, so if you're interested in knowing how to make that box, if you get that PDF tutorial. And those I sell too, just so you know that. After the month is over, you can get any of those demo design Dream Team PDF tutorials for free, not for free, but for, with a $15, um, there are a $15 fee for those, sorry. <laughs> I'm like thinking of the other option during the month, but yes, those are always available for purchase for $15. Um, but this one is a little bit smaller box, like I said, but I loved, so the little um, celebrate every beautiful thing. Rita, hello, thanks for joining us. And Philomena, I'm glad you like this little box. Um, this is our punch, one of the new punches that we have. Love that too. Punches are still my favorite because they're just so quick and easy to use, right? And then you can kind of see layered back here is some of the mother of pearl specialty paper, which I actually used on um, one of my cards that we're going to make today too. But I just had to share that little box. If you untie this, then um, this just lifts right open. So you can kind of get the idea there. This just lifts right up. So love making these boxes. So cute and so fun and actually really simple to make too. I'm not sure how it mailed because it's a little bit thicker than I make sometimes. So I was a little curious to kind of see how did they hold up because it's hard to mail these things, but I just have to try. So anyway, but my point also in telling you guys about this club member treat is um, also that I would love for you to join any of the clubs that I have available. So I have the Simple Beautiful Card Club. That's a local come to class, come to club kind of club. We also have the Scrapbook Club, same idea where you come to class or club um, and then you can get these little, I give these little treats to everybody. And then lastly is the class to go club, which basically is for anybody who's long distance, who can't come to events locally. If you're interested in getting a fun kit mailed to you every single month, which I'm going to show you guys the kit for this month. Um, if you sign up for that during the club, basically that's a 12 month club. So either come to this simple, beautiful card class, the scrapbook club, or get to go kits for 12 months. You get cute little treats from me every single month. Month, you also get at least $30 in free host benefits. And right now during my club member drive, you actually get to pick another free celebration item just for becoming a club member as part of my club member drive. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew about that. And like I said, I always I always like to make these cute little treats for everybody. So that's my, my fun little way to say thank you so much for participating in any of my clubs. If you want more info on any of those, please let me know because I'd love to get you signed up. People, love getting especially the kits in the mail every month. Um, so for example, this month featured the artfully composed suite of products. So you can see lots of beautiful floral botanical imagery. Okay, we need to move the table. It's much, it's too glary. Hold on. I'm gonna have to move it a ways, I think, to get out of the glare. As usual, it's driving me crazy. It was like that door that was open. That bugs me. <laughs> you know, I try to do the best I can with what I have to work with here, ladies, <laughs> which isn't much, I have to tell you. Uh, okay, so yes, the artfully composed suite of products. So we have the artfully layered stamp set and dies, which I'll actually show you those in bigger form, right? 
beautiful imagery, right? And then the happiest birthday wishes, sending all the hugs. I love that. And then, hey there. And then we have the dies that either cut some of these images out, right? Or they're just beautiful, detailed, um, coordinating kind of imagery with the stamp set, right? So that's the artfully layered bundle. You also will get some of the white, well, you'll get a full bolt of the white frayed ribbon, a full package of the faux sea glass shapes, and a quarter of a pack of the artfully composed designer series paper. You get a six by 12 piece of each of the papers in that designer series paper with your class to go kits, okay? So option number one includes, actually, let me show you the cards first, because today is the last day to RSVP for this class to go. Sorry, I got to get these situated around here, right? So artfully composed class to go. You get parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects. So we've got this first one, and I honestly can't remember if I did stuff on the inside. I guess I did. There's that one right there. We've got the sending all the hugs, my favorite sentiment, right? And then this one lifts up. We stamped inside there. We've got the thank you. If you wanted all thank yous, you could put thank you on all of these. If you wanted all birthdays, you could do birthdays on all these too. So don't be limited by what I stamped in terms of sentiments, right? But I'm gonna give you um, like the directions on how to put everything together. This one opens this way. There we go. I was not sure if it flipped that way. I haven't opened those cards in a while. So those four cards, parts and pieces to make two of each of them for this class to go. Option number one is the stamp set and the dies. You get the full bundle. You also get the ribbon, the faux sea glass shapes, and a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper. You actually get this paper for free in option number one, plus you get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together, and you actually get to pick a free celebration item with option number one. Um, I think that's it. Option number one is $91. Then option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies, make sure you have these because you have to do your stamping and your die cutting to be able to complete your cards, right? I give you everything else that you need, plus the ribbon, the faux sea glass shapes, and the quarter pack of designer series paper. Option number two is $34. If you need it shipped to you, these are shipped priority mail for an additional $9 shipping. Option number three is just the PDF tutorial. You want to do everything on your own. You just want to know how I did it. I'll give you colors, um, dimensions, item codes, everything that you need. So if, say if you're a demonstrator, maybe you just want to order everything on your own and use that to get your discount, right? You can do that and then put these cards together with the PDF tutorial. That is option number three, $15. It's also free to any of my Inkspired stampers. So any of my current team members get the PDF tutorials for free. Then option number four is also for my downline, my Inkspired stampers. They can get all the parts and pieces for the make and takes for two of each of these cards. It's just $12 for the make and takes for my downline. Today is the last day to RSVP for this class to go though. So if you're interested, please let me know. I'd love to get you signed up. And then the kits will ship out no later than March 2nd. Okay. All right. I think we're good with that. Let me see. We are ready. Yes. Okay. We are ready to do some stamping. Are you guys ready? I am ready myself. Okay, let me get my grid paper. I've got my cute little um, paper pumpkin grid paper. Love this one. We'll scoot that up just in case. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, though, because I want to make sure. I always have to make sure my grid paper is um, in view, and then I know whatever I do on here, you guys can see. So that's a good thing, right? <laughs> okay, let me show you. So I don't think Kathy's watching yet, but hopefully, Kathy, you watch at some point and see that we made St. Patrick's Day cards just for you. Now, I will tell you, I really kind of struggled with like, okay, what am I going to do? I knew greens, right? I knew like, okay, St. Patrick's Day, the lucky green luck of the Irish, right? But from there, I, I will admit, I went on to Pinterest and basically found a couple of super cute cards. I just... When I go to Pinterest too, just so you guys know, if I have, say I wanted to find ideas for my Here Together stamp set, in the little looking glass on Pinterest, I always type in Stampin' Up first, and then I might type in Here Together. So I type in Stampin' Up, Here Together, and then whoever tagged a project with Stampin' Up and then Here Together, those projects pop up. 
for, you know, in my search. So that kind of, for me, weeds out anything that's not Stampin' Up! because I only want to know about Stampin' Up! stuff. Um, but I think that's a great way to get lots of cute ideas. So in this case, I just typed in Stampin' Up! and St. Patrick's Day cards. And this, I kind of updated, but let me make sure, I want to make sure I give you the right name of the gal that I cased this from. Her name is Wendy Lee, so L-E-E, -E, and I love this. Her blog is called Creative Lee, L-E-E, -E, yours. So she's at creative, L-E-E, yours.com, Wendy Lee. So I can't take credit for the layout, but basically I think her post was from a couple of years ago and I loved it. And so I just kind of decided I'm going to make this card and I'm going to update it. So if you wanted to make it today, these are the products that you could use, order today and make this card as well. So all right, very long-winded way of saying, I cased this card from Wendy Lee at Creative Lee Yours on Pinterest. But I love that, that because you couldn't, you couldn't do it, you know, exactly like she did because a lot of the products aren't available any longer. So I wanted to kind of adapt it so you guys could see what you could use today. Okay, um, let me see. I've got all my parts and pieces. And before I forget, I want to show you one more time. This is the... Is it called All Together? Let's see. Where'd it go? Yep, All Together, the All Together Designer Series paper. So maybe I'll just kind of, and I, I'm only showing you the pieces that I didn't use on the make and takes for our meeting make and takes. Sharon, I'm still blown away by the fact that, that was just Tuesday. Really feels like longer ago than that. <laughs> I'm like so embarrassed too. Okay, so this is one side of the designer series paper. Again, all kind of black and white images. You think I'm really gonna be able to flip this? Okay, let's see, ooh, maybe I can. And then here's the other side. So lots of fun prints and patterns, all black and white, but you can see like, then you add your green pop of color and how fun is that, right? Okay, so the all together designer series paper. I will give you, as I'm thinking about that too, right? So the All Together Designer Series paper, what's that item code? I will give that to you. I'm gonna upload to my blog everything that I use to make this card, the colors, the dimensions, the product codes, everything that you need to order and be able to make this card yourself. Or if you put at least a $30 order in through me and use the host code, which I'll give you in a sec again, you get this card for free as a thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's see, oh, I did, I flung, I cut out. So there, these are little hearts right here and I was like, you guys don't wanna watch me crank that through the big shot four times. So I cut them out and now I'm like afraid I'm gonna lose them. <laughs> Cause you know, that if, any, if anyone that would happen to, it would be me that it would happen to. Okay, so we start with a piece of, this is called Granny Apple Green Cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. As always, to make our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Okay, next we have a piece of basic white cardstock. This is gonna go on the inside of our card, four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I actually had to add, I loved this idea. We did this on our make and takes too. So I just have this little strip of designer series paper that's gonna go down along the bottom there. All of a sudden, I'm like, that looks a little bit wider. I think it's okay. So this is going to be one inch by four inches. It's going to go along the bottom. And we actually colored it in with our Granny Apple Green Blend. Just a couple of those hearts to make them look green, Granny Apple Green. They start out all black and white. And then we just colored those in. Okay. And then what else? We have... This is the only other one you need to know size-wise for sure. This piece of All Together Designer Series paper measures... That is one and three eighths by five and a quarter, and that's gonna go right there. I have another piece of the All Together Designer Series paper that we're gonna die cut with our rectangle shape dies. And then this is my little scrap piece. This is my mother of pearl specialty. Can you kind of see the glimmeriness? We're gonna die cut that with one of our circle dies too. Okay, I think that is good. So let's see, we're gonna do our stamping on here first. Um, 
with, oh yeah, okay, so this is one of the new products that I use, the Happy and Heartfelt stamp set. I loved this font on here, right? And then I thought, oh, lucky me, that's perfect for a St. Patrick's Day card, right? So we're gonna use that one. But do you guys wanna know all of the sentiments here? We've got yay for love, lucky me, no matter what, being awesome is just your thing, that's cute. Congratulations, happy dad day, that's a fun one. I have you, you matter to me, hello baby. All day your way. <laughs> That's cute. I love you. Thank you. Heck yeah. We have to celebrate this. And happy mom day. Oh, and that's cute. They put a little O as a heart there too. So awesome sentiment stamp set, right? We're going to use that lucky you on our card right now. Um, let's see. I don't mean that either. I've got all this stuff pulled out. Okay, so let's, we're going to grab... Uh, no, we got to stamp first. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so we've got our Granny Apple Green Ink. The beautiful thing about Stampin' Up, right? Everything coordinates our Granny Apple Green Ink and our Granny Apple Green cardstock. Okay, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. There is our lucky me. That's the only stamping we're doing on this card. There's just so much other fun stuff going on. We didn't need to do a lot of stamping. Okay, so let's see how many things we can cut. Can we cut everything? We might be able to. We'll see. So we've got our lucky me. That we are going to use. What are these called? These are the beautiful trees dies, and they had a couple of little label dies in there too. So we're gonna use, so look at all the cool trees, right? And then there's kind of a longer label, and this is a little bit, um, not quite as, a little bit shorter. We'll get that fixed in a moment. There, we gotta get a few things on here, right? Next, we are going to use our layering circle dies. This one, oh, I think I have a few of them pulled out. I don't know. I'm trying to see one, two, three. It's probably like the fourth largest circle. We're going to put that right on here with our Mother of Pearl specialty paper. Then, yeah, we might have to do this one time separately. Yeah, we're gonna do, do two of them. Then I use, I love these guys, I just got these. I've been seeing lots of people using them. The Give It A Whirl dies. So can you guys see all these fun? So it's like a little spinner card and then all these cute little things that can pop out. Um, and then everything is stitching too. So the little clouds, right? The stars and then the hearts. I've seen so many people using, there's one, two, three, and then actually there's my four with the hearts. And then this cute little guy, I'm gonna have to use him sometime too. And then there's another circle with stitching, some rectangles, so lots and lots of, look at all those awesome um, dies in that Give It A Whirl dies, right? Okay, so we're gonna use that little heart right there. Like I said, I already punched a few of those or die cut a few of those. So now we just have to get this thing lined up. And you know how our magnetic board or mine is anyway, sometimes kind of flings things around. Everything else, as long as it's on the cardstock, we're okay. We just have to make sure that one doesn't move, and it did. <laughs> it's um okay, let's see if we can do that right. There. Okay, everyone be really quiet. <laughs> I think that moved a little bit, but I think it's gonna be okay. All right, Lisa, hello. Sorry about the wiggle wiggle here, guys. Okay, so we're gonna um, pop all of these things out. Okay, so here's our little, our little baby heart. Can you see the stitching on that too? So I've already cut, we need four of those actually, okay? Then we've got our circle with our mother of pearl. You can kind of see that, right? The glimmery this there okay then we've got our little label the lucky me and it's just got like a little stitch around the edge so just kind of real simple but just got a little bit of um kind of an embossed edge to it which i thought was kind of fun this adds a little something there okay now we're gonna run this back through because the other fun thing that i did where else yes and i used this two times I needed a stem, so this little, can I get this? This little piece right here, I thought I could probably cut it myself, and then I realized, oh, I probably have a die. So I'm gonna show you where that little stem, so there are the four hearts right there, and then this little stem comes from, these are, oops, it's in upside down, but we'll get the idea, the hydrangea dies, 
And I'm gonna just use this little piece right here on my hydrangea, okay? And I did that actually in both of the cards. So I just need this little strip and I just want that little piece cut right on there. So all this other stuff's gonna come out and it's not really gonna matter. Then we have, these are the rectangle stitched dies. So this is the one, two, three, the fourth largest uh, wide, I would say, rectangle, okay? And this one just needs to go on here. And I do need to kind of keep this straight because otherwise things might look funny. Actually, you know what I mean to do? If I scoot this, then we don't get all that extra that we don't need. There, just make sure it's on. There we go. Okay, so one more crank. So we used quite a few different dies, but it all builds together to make a super cute card. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. And this one has a little bit of stitching on it also. I don't know that you can even see it in the light here, but there's a little bit of stitching around the edge of that. And then here, this is all we needed. That's perfect. We have our little stem. <laughs> if I can get it off of. So you can see how well loved that little clear plate is, right? So there's our little stem. Okay, so just don't lose that, Amy. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, we are ready to put our card together. So you can see, like I said, it's we did um, kind of a number of different dies for die cutting, but it's gonna come together very kind of quickly and easily. So you know what? Actually, let's do this. We are gonna color Oh wait, where are my glasses? I did bring them because I realized, oh, I'm definitely gonna need my glasses to color. I went out of the lines a little bit on one of them. So I've got my Granny Apple Green Blend and I'm just gonna color, not too many, but just kind of a sprinkle of green hearts. Just because I think it's kind of fun, right? Just to add a little bit of color and we'll put this on the inside of our card. We're going to do one more after this. Oop, there we go. One more. Okay, my glasses. I really would normally have my face like right down in there. So I did the best I could with, with what I had to work with at the time, ladies. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, where is my adhesive? Okay, I didn't bring that. One moment. I'll be right back. I forgot my adhesive. Like the most important thing, right? It's a good thing my craft room isn't too far away. Okay, and you can see, ooh, I did mean to mention this also. So you see how much, see, that's the side I colored on, but you see how much it bleeds through? So make sure you don't like, you know, color on something you don't want that ink to bleed through onto because it will. So just be careful of that, okay? All right, so we're just gonna layer this down along the bottom and then this white piece just goes on the inside. Okay, there's that. Next, we want to put some dimensionals behind this piece. We're gonna pop this one up. Oops. Okay, make sure those are all good. All right, I'm just gonna peel the backs off of these. Okay, we are going to add this piece may be right about there, right? Then I'm gonna lay this one on top here. So I don't want it all the way at the top or the bottom because I don't need adhesive kind of hanging off the edge there, right? So we're just gonna lay this guy right about there, okay? Next we have, oh, our ribbon. So this is the ribbon that you can get in your Artfully Composed class to go. This is called the White Frayed Ribbon, okay? And I'm actually just gonna run some adhesive right along there like that, and then I'm gonna lay this down. And bring that over there. We're gonna just cut this. So it's supposed to have a little bit of a frayed edge to it that look <laughs> thank you i'm glad you like the card kathy i think it's kind of fun too um okay next we are going to add some adhesive and we're going to put our circle we're going to add this guy right onto maybe right about there right 
Now, this is why I brought this little piece over. We need to flip our hearts over and we're gonna add some adhesive on the back of these guys. And then we're gonna layer him on to look like a four leaf clover, okay? So we've got, hello, Cheryl, how are you today? Okay, so we're gonna put one there. This was a little bit tricky for me. I put them really close together at first, and then when I put this on, you couldn't see very much, so I realized I needed to kind of, I need some more adhesive on that one. I needed to spread them out a little bit, so I'm gonna not press too hard, and we'll see how I do with this. So it kind of looks funny right now, but once I put the sentiment on, yeah, let's see. I want to maybe go just about like that right there, right? And then I'm also going to, I'm just gonna kind of rip that off. We don't need that little top part there. We're gonna put some adhesive on this, and I love working on my little silicone mat there, right? So I don't get adhesive all over places I don't want it, and then that's gonna work just perfectly there, right? So then we are gonna add just a couple of little mini dimensionals. Oops, it's stuck to my finger. That's not really gonna work very well. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add those couple of dimensionals. I'm gonna put that little lucky me right there. Then kind of the last little bit that I decided just, it just needed a little something else, right? So I always have to go to my embellishments. And I found I had not used these yet, so I was excited. These are the adhesive-backed hexagons. So we've got some black hexagons. I'm gonna call these Blushing Bride. Mm, and these, I don't know, maybe Coastal Cabana, mm, maybe Soft Succulent, I'm not sure. But they're, I don't even remember what suite they're in, to be honest, ladies, but that's what we're using, okay? <laughs> it's these little um, hexagon adhesive-backed thingies, okay? So we used one small. I'm gonna use a medium, maybe right there, and then one large I used, maybe right down there. And there we go. So you can kind of see, right? Those are fun little hexagon shapes, right? And there is our card. Again, not my idea. I cased this from Wendy Lee at creativelycreations.com. Um, but and then this was my this was my uh, part on the inside though, right? I love that adding just that little so you guys could see a bunch of different patterns in that all together black and white designer series paper. Fun little pack of paper that you can add any pop of color to, right? Okay, so there's our first St. Patrick's Day card, right? We've got one more. So I thought that would be good too to do these a little bit earlier since it's just about a month away. You'd have lots of time to um, order what you need to make these St. Patrick's Day cards and get them sent out to friends and family. Okay, so the next one is another fun one that I found on Pinterest. This one was from Mary Fish at Stampin' Pretty. She was probably one of the first demonstrators that I ever followed, and I like love everything that Mary does. She's got this very crisp, clean um, style to her cards. This one was from a couple of years ago also. So again, I basically took the products that we had currently. I put a little bit of my own twist on it, um, but this was the basic idea of Mary's card, and then I updated it with, like I said, products that you could get uh, right now today to be able to make this card yourself. Okay, so let's see. And again, we used a few different stamps and die sets and so on. Let's see here. Let me get these things out here first though, right? And use my little heart punch. Sorry, I'm kind of like bopping into things here. All right, I think I have everything I need. <laughs> yes, I love the shamrock too. I've definitely seen this idea before, Philomena, also with you know using the heart punches to um, make a shamrock. So I think that's very fun. Okay, so here, let me give you dimensions and then we'll kind of go through the rest of it. Okay, so we have, this is garden green cardstock this time, right? So uh, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. I used the same layering on the outside of the card and the inside of the card. And then we did the stamping too, which I thought was kind of fun on the inside there. Okay. So we have two pieces of Granny Apple Green cardstock, 
that measure four inches by five and a quarter inches, and then two pieces of basic white cardstock that measure three and three quarter by five inches, okay? So inside and outside, both of those. Then I basically just have scrap pieces of garden green, um, a little strip of basic white, and then I, again, die cut a couple of my hearts already, and then we're gonna do one more heart to finish off the shamrock there too, in granny apple green. Okay, all right, so let's stamp. We might as well do that, and just kind of get that going, right? So we've got our, oh, and that was the other fun thing I have to show you guys. So I have, I got this stamp set a while ago. This is one that I would recommend getting in your starter kit, because I think it's probably one of the most expensive stamp sets that we have for sale, and it's got so many sentiments, right? A wish for everything. So look at all of these, right? Just a little reminder that you are loved. The real heroes of the world are fathers like you, perfect for Father's Day or for a birthday, right? Giving thanks for you with a very grateful heart, wishing you a trick-or-treating, candy-eating, frightful, delightful time. Ooh, I love that one. Wishing you a light that shines in every menorah and glows in every heart. That's beautiful too, right? First, my mother, forever my friend. May the beauty of Easter fill your heart with hope. Sending Easter wishes to someone very sweet, a merry little wish for lots of joy this season, and hope this new year is filled with promises of many bright tomorrows. And then all of these other sentiments that you can kind of build off of what you have here, right? Or for example, I found a way to do happy St. Patrick's Day, right? So we used um, a few of the sentiments right in here, but you've got lots of other sentiments too. Oh, look, I didn't even notice this one. May the luck of the Irish go double for you. Oh, so cute. We should have put that on the inside, huh? Well, hmm, I'll have to remember that. Maybe I will when I send them out to you as um, thank you cards. So anyway, great sentiment stamp set, a wish for everything. If you don't have it, I would highly recommend getting that stamp set. Okay, so here we go. Now these are pretty tiny, so don't push too hard. You're gonna do just a nice easy tap, tap, tap. And I'm actually gonna start down at this end. And I brought a big piece of paper. So if I didn't like my first stamp, I could do it again. We got the happy, we got the day, and what about St. Patrick's? And St. Patrick's, that one's a little bit light. I did re-ink this, but I feel like I could have re-inked it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, we're good with those, right? Oh, actually, before I do that, on the inside of my card, I stamped with... This is my sweet conversation stamp set. I just used that little heart right there to, again, make my shamrock, okay? <laughs> it makes me want to go to McDonald's and get a shamrock shake when I say that. Shamrock, okay. So we're going to do one there. We're going to do one there. And we're going to do one there. And then we're going to use our garden green marker and we're just gonna make a little tail there or a little stem I guess I should say and then we're gonna close this up so we don't get ink all over everything okay now let's see we're gonna cut those a little bit later okay let's go back to the outside of our card here so we need our heart punch this is from the heart punch pack and we're just gonna punch three hearts out of this cardstock. Okay, then we're gonna scoop those out of the way. I'm always afraid I'm gonna get ink on things I don't want ink on. I think we can start kind of layering this up. So let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna put our white piece, our basic white piece, we're gonna add that to our granny apple green cardstock, right? All right, and then we're gonna add this one to our card base, or both of those pieces, right? Next, we are going to add our adhesive on our heart punches. Okay, do this, right? Okay, so we are gonna add, and this one I did have to futz with a tiny bit, but I think I ended up with things where I wanted them. And then that one layers on there, right? Now, for these guys, and I did, I know I cut that other heart, right? Or didn't I? 
I haven't done any die cutting yet, have I? So we need to do that real quick. I was looking, I'm like, where's my other heart? But that's why, okay. So we're gonna die cut one more heart from Granny Apple Green cardstock. Oh, and the stem too. Yes, let's see, did I bring it? I did, okay. So we got this one right here for the stem. And then this heart, I think, is this one right here. Let's make sure. Yeah, those go there. Yeah, so again, from these Give It A Whirl dies, just so cute, right? I was so excited. I just thought, oh, I saw those being used a lot lately. And I, I thought, oh, I really need to get those. And I got them just in time to be able to do these St. Patrick's Day cards. Okay, so how many people have had green beer before? I'm curious. <laughs> I was just thinking about that for St. Patrick's Day. I think I have, not a lot, but you know, maybe once or twice, right? <laughs> you gotta do it, right? Maybe once on St. Patrick's Day, right? Okay, so again, I'm using that little um, stem from my hydrangea dies just because I think it's easier to, you saw how well I drew my stem with my marker, right? So <laughs> I thought I'd probably better get some help. And, um, oops, I think, oh, it is right there, good, okay. Oh, I did need a longer stem on that one. Hmm, mm hmm, maybe, let's see, do I have more? Oh, I do, look at, okay, we're gonna do that one more time. I was thinking of my other one that I had a short stem, but I need a long stem on this one. So we're gonna try that one more time real quick, okay. Because I do remember having to cut more off of this one because I wanted a longer stem. Okay, that's all right, we kind of went all the way up on this one. There we go. That's an easy fix though. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's just get this stuff out of the way. Yeah, so we'll kind of trim off some of those things there, but we'll get that to work. Okay? All right, I think we're done. We just had that little bit of die cutting to do. All right, so let's doctor this baby up, huh? I'm just gonna kind of cut right along there. Okay, and then actually I'm gonna go on this side. There's something about cutting on the left-hand side that doesn't work very well for me. And then that there, there. Okay, get those little pieces out of the way. We're gonna leave that right on there because we're gonna need to put adhesive on this little baby. Okay, oops, it's like stuck to my fingernail. That's working well, right? So we're gonna add that little baby right there. Now we wanna put some dimensionals behind these hearts. I'm like, where are my dimensionals? I moved them after I used them on the other card, I think, but okay, so we're good there. So isn't this so cute, the layering of the hearts? I just loved this look, okay? So here's this one. And then we've got one more right there. And then we're just gonna trim these little guys. Okay, so I've got one. I don't want that one. So there's the happy, oops, like butterfingers. And then there's your day. I'll get rid of this one. And then there's our St. Patrick's. Okay, so we are just gonna add some little mini dimensionals behind these things. And we'll just kind of sprinkle them on our card. I like that look. Um, probably because um, it's easier to not try to get things lined up perfectly, right? If you if we just kind of sprinkle them on our card, right? Then it's okay if they're a little bit off kilter at times, right? Happy St. Patrick's Day, right? Now, of course, we have to, well, let's see, we've got a couple more. We're gonna do the inside and then we've gotta add, you know, a little, we have to embellish this card a little bit, right? Okay, so we're gonna add this one on the inside and then we'll do our basic white on the inside also. And then we are going to grab our what are these called? The holiday rhinestones. And if I could find my, there they are, my paper snips. I was like, where did they go? Okay, so we're gonna add one green rhinestone right in the center there. Isn't that cute, right? And then we're gonna sprinkle a couple more on our card. We'll put, eh, we're gonna put that one up there this time. You know, I layer things a little bit different 
each time I do these cards, it seems. And then I'll do one more. Maybe right there. Right then. Lastly, we have, this is the Fan Baker's Twine Combo Pack. So kind of from the, the dad guy suite in our mini catalog, right? So we've got some Poppy Parade in white striped. I think that's Night of Navy. And then this is Evening Evergreen. And I thought it was kind of the perfect pop of green to make a little bow and add it to our shamrock. Okay. I'm going to find a mini glue dot right here, I think. Where's my next one? There we go. And we're going to put that right on there. It's almost easier to kind of pull it after you put it down. There we go. So what do you guys think? We did it. We've got some fun St. Patrick's Day cards. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those cards today. I thought they were super fun. I had a great time putting them together for you. And like I said, Pinterest can be your friend. If you're kind of at a loss for what to do or where to go or get ideas, just pop on Pinterest. And in this case, just type in Stampin' Up! St. Patrick's Day cards and you get some fun ideas and then adapt them to what you have in your craft room or what's available to purchase online. So as always, don't forget, put your $30 order in through me using this host code right here. You're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. Bump your order up to $50 and you get to pick from the free embellishment or the demo design dream team pdf tutorial plus you get a free celebration choice plus you get your name in the drawing for the calming camellia stamp sets so awesome awesome time just 10 days left of celebration too so don't miss out get your free stuff while you still can thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great weekend and we will see you on our next facebook live bye everybody